Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sardé, what can I do for you? We managed to dismantle the Ordo Luminis's camp, Your Eminence. And while we were there, we gathered proof of their exactions. Those wretched fools! How dare they challenge me a second time! I will make sure that a decree is published so that their order is now forbidden on this island. The guards served you well and bravely followed your orders. They will be thanked and rewarded for it. But it is to you, Your Excellency, that I express my deepest gratitude. Without your intervention, Teleme as a whole would have appeared as a monster in the eyes of the Islanders. It was my pleasure, Mother Cardinal. What do you seek? I have come to tell you that we have taken care of the Inquisitors and set the camp's prisoners free. You thought we weren't capable of fighting the Soul Lasser and of freeing our people? That's not it. I thought it was my duty to inform the woman who represents Teleme here of the situation. She's the commander of the Soul Lasser, and she was furious when she heard about their actions. She made a point of punishing them herself. ...and of having your people set free as a token of good faith. I understand. She's proven a respectable queen. And you have proven... ...an ally. I thank you for your help on all Manawi. From now on, you have our gratitude... ...and our trust. From this day forward, you are a garants of our clan. Anything more? I need to be going. Well, I will am sick.
Lord de Sade, I've been hoping you would come. Your Excellency, I heard news of the attacks against Hikmed. We have had our differences, but none can deny your incredible efficiency. You must surely know that were we not desperate, I would not trouble you with this. I'm listening. Animals, creatures, have been attacking us relentlessly. They throw themselves upon our defenses day and night. They do not even try to avoid our weapons, rushing as if to swamp us in infinite numbers. Our best soldiers fall exhausted from fatigue, the others die shredded by their claws. Please find the origin of these attacks and make them stop. If we cannot hold out, the entire population of Hikmet will be devoured. Sir Mateus has fallen prey to the same tragic fate. The beasts were answering to a type of guardian we have never seen before. A guardian that has since died. Have the attacks subsided here at all? A guardian that has since died. Have the attacks subsided in Hikmet? No, not at all. San Mateus is far from here. The origin of the attacks must be different. I sent a small group of trackers so that they might follow the trail of the creatures. Their last message came from a dangerous area in the hands of natives. The savages are certainly at the root of these evil attacks. Who else could have trained all of these creatures? Could you indicate the zone in question? Alas, no. I didn't get the information. You must meet their officer who will know how to guide you there. She's leading our troops in the outpost at the entrance to the city. Very well. I shall depart immediately. Be so kind as to keep me informed. This affair is driving me to madness. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. You managed to make it through. A group of these enraged beasts managed to get past our defenses. Yes, we fought and defeated them. But how did they make it through? My men are exhausted. We killed some of them, but we were overrun. Our situation is getting more and more desperate. I don't suppose I need to warn you about the dangers of this road. Actually, that is why we're here. Governor Burren sent me. He wants us to find a group of trackers. And I hope that he'd sent you as reinforcements. Silly me. 
It looks like all we're good for is dying to protect his bloody city. But you wanted to ask me something. Like I said, Governor Burren is hoping that I can find a group of trackers, with your help. I'd like to see you try. Indeed, I was ordered to send out a party of scouts, which I did, despite our losses. They were supposed to find the bastard who's been sending us these critters. One of those savage sorcerers, no doubt. Can you tell me which way they went? Sorry, Your Excellency, I won't tell you anything until I receive some help. You have to understand, I hope that these men are alive. They are also under my command. But those who are here with me now are my main preoccupation. And as we speak, they're dropping like flies. Not to mention the fact that if this outpost falls, there won't be much left to protect the city. So you can go and tell the governor that if he wants me to help you, he will have to help us first. I understand that your situation is desperate, that you want to take care of what appears most urgent. But it's not simply about me saving a few men. It's about stopping these attacks once and for all. By getting to their root cause, I intend to put an end to it. And then any help you hope to receive won't be needed any longer. You hope that you will stop these attacks, but you have no way of knowing whether you'll manage to do so or not. Sorry, Your Excellency. Make sure you tell the Governor what I've told you. Maybe we can avoid going to the Governor and save time. There aren't many of us, and I don't have any soldiers to give you. But perhaps I can still offer my help. We were supposed to receive a shipment of ammunition and medicines, but we're still waiting for it. If you can bring it to me, we would at least be able to heal ourselves and have enough bullets to sustain these assaults. Do you know where this material came from? From your city, New Serene. The caravan transporting it was supposed to pass through here two days ago. It must have been attacked. But with a little bit of luck, its cargo should still be intact. Very well. I will retrace the path. It shouldn't be too difficult to find it. The three of you won't be able to bring the crates back by yourselves. Two of my men will accompany you. Please, hurry. Without them, we're even less likely to hold. We're departing right away. Governor Burren has asked me to help you fight against the caravan attacks. Could you tell me precisely what's going on? For weeks, we have been harassed by the savages. They're waiting for groups of soldiers or caravans to be out of sight of the outpost and attack with incredible violence. They don't just steal goods or equipment. They kill without mercy. Only one man survived their last attack. He's here in a sorry state. Do you think he could answer a few questions? Yes, but take it easy on him. I'll make sure I do, Captain. Soldiers. Are you the ones who are supposed to help me search for the caravan? Yes, Your Excellency. We're ready to leave as soon as you wish. I'd like to prepare a few things before leaving. Don't wait for too long. The next attack is never very far away. Are you ready to leave now? I'm ready. Let's go. We'll follow you.
tracks of a heavy carriage. They must belong to our car. Let's take a closer look. This looks like the place the carriage left the road. There are also some animal prints. They were being chased. They must have tried to escape them by taking this small path. Let's follow them. dead they were torn to shreds but the cargo is still here and it looks like it's in good condition as for the carriage it's damaged and without it we'll have a hard time transporting this to the outpost it'll take a bit of work but i should be able to fix that make it quick i'm afraid that the beasts may not give us a lot of breathing space <sighs> there it's a makeshift repair, but it should be enough to reach the outpost. We'd do well to depart now. Dragging this carriage won't be easy. Let's go. An attack could happen soon. Here you are. I don't know how to thank you. Our cargo has finally arrived. With this ammunition, we'll be able to hold back the assaults, and the medicines have already given a boost to three of my men. It wasn't an easy task, so I'm pleased that all this has been useful to you. Here, take this. This is all I can offer to thank you, but I give it gladly. Thank you, Captain. Now, can you tell me which way these trackers went? They went towards the west, where the rebels are most numerous. Are you talking about the Danaea Exregal? If you like. The Governor is certain that these savages are behind the attacks, so I sent my men to find their camp. This isn't the first time that we've tried to find them, but now our survival depends on it. I see. Well, thank you, Captain. I'll try to find your man and put an end to all this. Good luck. And if my men are alive, send them back here, will ya? You can count on me. I must go. Goodbye, Captain. Goodbye, Your Excellency.
Who are you? What are you doing here? Are you the scout sent by the governor of Hikmet? Can't you tell? He was worried that he wasn't getting any news from you and asked me to find you. He wants me to help him put an end to the attacks. Have you discovered anything? Yes. A camp of rebel savages. We suspected there was one around here. And we finally found it. They must be the ones sending us the beasts. They all come from this region. And these barbarians have sworn to eliminate us. So we... You may be right, but I'd rather be certain. I know the leader of this camp. I'll go talk to her. You... You knew of this camp? These savages are responsible for dozens of deaths, maybe hundreds. Why didn't you inform the governor? Because I'm a diplomat, not a scout. You should go back to the outpost now. I'll take care of all this. I wanted to speak to you about the assaults that Hikmed and its outposts have been sustaining. Assaults? We have nothing to do with it this time. My men are not ready to attack the big city. They're not being attacked by men, but by beasts. Dozens of them. So, they are also attacking the Renaigse? That's a relief. What do you mean? The animals are attacking us as well. They throw themselves at any man crossing their path. As if they were enraged. They even throw themselves at the camp's defenses. I had never seen anything like it before. A similar thing was happening west of the island. The animals were being led by some sort of guardian. It resembled a Nardaig Menaemon, but its skin was black and covered in ulcers. I have never seen a guardian that fits the description you've given. I don't think they exist. Could a Denegad have done this? You're a typical Renaigse. You don't understand anything. The Nardaig are our ancestors. None of our people would make a Nardaig suffer, even if their heart was black and full of resentment. And yet someone or something is making the beasts aggressive here as well. And we must find it. We? Do you want us to work together? Why shouldn't we? Don't you want this to stop too? That's true. Mal! Our guardian! He had changed! He is attacking our own! What? Come, follow me! Yeah! Nice. 
idea. I'm sorry. It left me no choice. You fought bravely, and you did what you had to do. Our Guardian had changed. It no longer recognized its children, and it was the one leading these beasts against us. Something really bad must have happened to it. It resembled the other Guardian I told you about. As if they had the same disease. Guardians don't get sick. They are far more than beasts. And yet you and I saw the same thing. At last. The attack should stop now. What are you doing here? Who are these Renites, eh? Spies? They only came here to discover the source of the attacks. And they thought we were responsible. Why are you still here? You should have gone back to the outpost. I... I'm sorry. We were uncertain that we could trust you. You said you knew these... people. And then we heard cries. And saw the giant creature attacking their camp. And we realized that it was this creature who was leading the beasts. And you discovered that we weren't to blame. Yes. I'm... I'm really sorry. We should go back to the outpost now. But then, if we let them go, they'll tell their leader the location of our camp. You. Are you prepared to swear that you will never speak of this place? You... You saved our comrades and maybe our city by killing this beast, so... Yes. We swear. I hope that they will be true to their word. Fine. They can go. We are extremely grateful. Thank you, Direk. Now, let's go tell the Governor of Hikmet about this garden. Qua awalem seg, Renaigse. And if you find the one who's behind all this, kill him. Your Excellency, have you been informed? I've been told, yes, that the attacks have ceased. Hikmet has been saved, thanks to you. Was it the natives, as I suspected? No, they were not the cause, and were also victims of the attacks, and their losses were great. The animals answered to the call of a guardian, whose behavior was totally unlike the others. Exactly like the one who led the attacks against San Mateus. These creatures normally protect the natives, answering their call. Why did this one attack them? Are you certain one tribe is not attempting to dominate the others? I don't think so. The Guardian looks sick. No native would treat such a creature like that. There is no doubt someone is behind these attacks. But currently, I have no idea who it might be. I suspect you will lead the investigation and unravel the mystery, as is your custom. While waiting, take this. It's nothing much, but consider it a gift to thank you for your help. Without you, the population of Hikmet would have suffered terribly. Thank you. I'm happy to have helped you avoid a massacre, Your Excellency. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord.
Constantine, my dear cousin. I'm always happy to see you. What news do you bring? We managed to solve the problem of the attacks on San Mateus. Really? So, what was causing them? The city and its outposts were continuously being attacked by animals. These beasts were led by a large creature that strangely resembled a mountain guardian. This is the same creature which High King Vinbar turned into, isn't it? Exactly. Except it looked sick and it didn't act like the High King did. It was calling the animals around it, and it seemed like it was transferring its disease to them before making them attack. I have never seen anything like it. And there's more. Hikmet was in a similar situation. Do you remember? Of course. Don't tell me that a guardian was involved there as well. Yes. The governor was convinced that the attacks were led by the islanders. And yet they were being attacked as well. And it was by their side that I fought the creature. That time it was a Nardai Glenderman. A beach guardian, but it seemed just the sick, and it was also manipulating the animals to make them aggressive. So, it would be some kind of epidemic affecting the guardians. I don't see what we can do about it. Actually, I think you've already done what had to be done, by eliminating those that were threatening our neighbors. Perhaps. But I'm certain there's more to it than a simple epidemic. These beasts attack in a coordinated fashion, which requires an intelligence that they don't have. You're exaggerating, dear cousin. The attacks you thought were coordinated may just have been coincidental. You may be right, but I can't help thinking that someone is behind all this. Do you really believe that a Danegad would want to take over the island? Cousin, you know how much I respect you, but frankly, this doesn't seem very coherent. But I see it's already quite late. If you'll excuse me, dear cousin. Regrettably, I must leave you. Where are you going? Not very far. Rest assured. But I have a small personal matter to take care of, you see. Don't be concerned. There's absolutely no risk. Use the opportunity to take some rest. You've really performed miracles recently. See you later.